watching CBN with Ray Emerson. I'm Dana Evans. And I'm Jordan Arnett. Today's high school tip on pathways to success. School has started and many seniors are thinking about their future lives that are just around the corner, whether it's going to college or to the military. Here are a few things that can help you on your path to success. Organization. Having good organizational skills can lead to productive lifestyles. 47% of college freshmen feel their high school did not prepare them with the organizational skills required to do well in college. So here are a few tips to help you stay organized. Have two folders for each class, one for graded assignments and the other for work that needs to be turned in. It may seem excessive, but it's better than shuffling through your book bag looking for work that's most likely crumbled up that looks unprofessional. Organizing your time is a big task as well. Once you're out of high school, it may feel like your life is just beginning and you want to experience new horizons. So instead of doing too much of one thing, schedule out your day so you don't miss out on a good grade or the fun. And in tech news, the iPhone 7 made new changes. That's right, Dana. It's that time of year again. The technological holiday season has begun with the release of the new iPhone 7. Apple on September 16th released their new smartphones to the world. Apple took away the headphone jack in favor of the new design, which includes dual speakers, dual cameras, IP67 waterproofing, two new additional colors, and a brand new operating system. Apple has done it again with leading in a new trend. Recently, Word Emerson seniors visited Ivy Tech Community College on October 11, 2016. Ivy Tech has several locations throughout Northwest Indiana. Students listen to several speakers who discuss admissions, registration, financial aid, and other student support services such as TRIO. TRIO is a federal program that provides services for disadvantaged students who are in need of financial support to attend college. An added bonus, students toured the campus and received yummy pizza. Ivy Tech is offering dual credits for high school seniors in multiple subjects while attending high school. For more information about getting your start to success in the future, visit www.ivytech.edu. The seventh hour is back. Emerson has brought back the beloved seventh hour class. Students with an arts major can sign up for arts enrichment with their major teacher. Here is arts coordinator Larry Brewer with more information. It's uh, designed for the uh, art majors to uh, intensify. Uh, kids that are coming in that haven't had uh, training, they get some remedial work. Uh, and the kids that are on a different level, it gives you a chance to train across grade levels. It's the Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump showdown. This election will take place on November 8, 2016. We have Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and businessman Donald Trump battling for the head position in the White House. There has been two debates. The first debate took place on September 6th at Hofstra University in New York. The second debate took place on October 9, 2016 at the Washington University in St. Louis. Although Hillary Clinton wasn't perfect in the first debate, but she did enough to win. Trump was simply not prepared for the first debate. He struggled answering questions, and he kept interrupting Clinton during their debate. Clinton also wins the second debate by 42% on Sunday night. Only 28% said Trump won the debate, according to the polls. These two are going at it, and it's pretty exciting. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are the two most unpopular candidates ever in the most watched race ever, according to CNN. Let's see who become our next president. Wow, Dana, I cannot wait either. Well, there you have it, folks. This is CBN News with Jordan Arnett and Dana Evans. Have a nice day.